This is the French Constitution. Preamble. The French people solemnly proclaim their attachment to the rights of man and the principles of national sovereignty as defined by the Declaration of 1789, confirmed and complemented by the preambles to the Constitution of 1946, and to the rights and duties defined in the Charter for the Environment of 2004. By virtue of these principles and that of self-determination of peoples, the Republic offers to the overseas territories which have expressed the will to adhere to them new institutions founded on the common ideal of liberty, equality, and fraternity, and conceived for the purpose of their democratic development. Article 1. France shall be an indivisible, secular, democratic, and social republic. It shall ensure the equality of all citizens before the law, without distinction of origin, race, or religion. It shall respect all beliefs. It shall be organized on a decentralized basis. Statutes shall promote equal access by women and men to elective offices and posts, as well as to positions of professional and social responsibility. Title I. On Sovereignty. Article II. The language of the Republic shall be French. The national emblem shall be blue, white, and red tricolor flag. The national anthem shall be Le Marseille. The maxim of the Republic shall be liberty, equality, fraternity. The principle of the Republic shall be government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Article 3. National sovereignty shall vest in the people who shall exercise it through the representatives and by means of referendum. No section of the people nor any individual may arrogate to itself or to himself the exercise thereof. Suffrage may be direct or indirect as provided for by the Constitution. It shall always be universal, equal, and secret. All French citizens of either sex who have reached their majority or are in the possession of their civil and political rights may vote as provided for by statute. Article 4. Political parties and groups shall contribute to the exercise of suffrage. They shall be formed and carried on their activities freely. They shall respect the principles of national sovereignty and democracy. They shall contribute to the implementation of the principles set out in the second paragraph of Article 1 as provided for by the statute. Statutes shall guarantee the expression of diverse opinions and the equitable participation of political parties and groups in the national life of the Democratic Republic. My friends, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain a little. Number one, it's free. Two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will then distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you've ever been looking for to make a podcast in one place. Go ahead and download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Title 2 the President of the Republic. Article 5. The President of the Republic shall ensure due respect for the Constitution. He shall ensure by his arbitration the proper function of the public authorities and the continuity of the state. He shall be the guarantor of national independence, territorial integrity, and due respect for treaties. Article 6. The President of the Republic shall be elected for a term of five years by direct universal suffrage. No one may hold office for more than two consecutive terms. The manner of implementation of this article shall be determined by an institutional act. Article 7. The President of the Republic shall be elected by an absolute majority of votes cast. If such a majority is not obtained on the first ballot, a second ballot shall take place on the 14th day thereafter. Only the two candidates, candidates 
polling the greatest number of votes in the first ballot after any withdrawal of better placed candidates may stand in the second ballot. The process of electing a president shall commence by the calling of said election by the government. The election of the new president shall be held no fewer than 20 days and no more than 35 days before the expiry of the term of the president in office. Should the presidency of the republic fall vacancy for any reason whatsoever, or should the Constitutional Council, on a referral from the government rule by an absolute majority of its members, that the President of the Republic is incapacitated, the duties of the President of the Republic, with the exception of those specified in Articles 11 and 12, shall be temporarily exercised by the President of the Senate or, if the latter is in turn incapacitated by the government. In the case of vacancy, or where the incapacity of the president is declared to be permanent by the Constitutional Council, elections for the new president shall be, shall, except in the event of finding by the Constitutional Council of force majeure, be held no fewer than 20 days and no more than 35 days after the beginning of the vacancy or the declaration of permanent incapacity. In the event of the death or incapacitation in the seven days preceding the deadline for the registering of candidacies of any of the persons who, fewer than 35 days prior to such deadline, have publicly announced their decision to stand for election, the Constitutional Council may decide to postpone the election. If, before the first round of voting, any of the candidates dies or becomes incapacitated, the Constitutional Council shall declare the election to be postponed. In the event of the death or incapacitation of either of the two candidates in the lead, after the first round of voting before any withdrawal, the Constitutional Council shall declare that the electoral process must be repeated in full. The same shall apply in the event of the death or incapacitation of either of the two candidates still standing on the second round of voting. All cases shall be referred to the Constitutional Council in the manner laid down in the second paragraph of Article 61, or in that laid down for the registration of the candidates in the Institutional Act provided for in Article 6. The Constitutional Council may extend the time limits set in paragraphs five, 3 and 5 above, provided that polling takes place no later than 35 days after the decision of the Constitutional Council. If the implementation of the provisions of this paragraph results in the postponement of the election beyond the expiry of the term of the President in office, the latter shall remain in office until his successor is proclaimed. Neither Articles 49 and 59 nor Articles 89 of the Constitution shall be implemented during the vacancy of the Presidency of the Republic or during their period between the declaration of the permanent incapacity of the President of the Republic and the election of his successor. Institutions of the Republic, the independence of the nation, the integrity of its territory, or the fulfillment of its international commitments are under serious and immediate threat, and where the proper functioning of the constitutional public authorities is interrupted, the President of the Republic shall take measures required by these circumstances after formally consulting the Prime Minister, the Presidents of the Houses of Parliament, and the Constitutional Council. He shall address the nation and inform it of such measures. The measures shall be designed to provide the constitutional public authorities as swiftly as possible with the means to carry out their duties. The constitutional council shall be consulted with regards to such matters. Parliament shall sit as of right. The National Assembly shall not be dissolved during the exercise of such emergency powers. After 30 days of the exercise of such emergency powers, the matter may be referred to the constitutional council by the president of the National Assembly the President of the Senate, 60 members of the National Assembly, or 60 Senators so as to decide if the conditions laid down in paragraph 1 still apply. The Council shall make its decision publicly as soon as possible. It shall, as of right, carry out such an examination and shall make its decision in the manner after 60 days of the exercise of emergency powers or at any moment thereafter. Article 17. The President of the Republic is vested with the power to grant individual pardons. Article 18. The President of the Republic shall communicate with the two Houses of Parliament by messages which he he shall 
cause to be read aloud and which shall not give rise to any debate. He may take the floor before Parliament convenes in Congress for this purpose. His statements may give rise, in his absence, to a debate without vote. When not in session, the House of Parliament shall be convened especially for this purpose. Article 19. Instruments of the President of the Republic, other than those provided for under Article 8, Paragraph 1, 11, 12, 16, 18, 45, 55, 54, 56, and 61, shall be countersigned by the Prime Minister and, where required, by the Ministers concerned. Every financial decision we make needs to be made with an eye towards the future. I take the time to listen to what your goals and challenges are and work hard to help make those decisions easier. Let's start with a conversation to figure out your needs and find out if we can work together. Then we'll figure out the best way to enrich, strengthen, and build a brighter financial future for you and your family. Reach out to me, click on the link below, and schedule an appointment. Have a good one. Napoleon Bonaparte said, Soldiers of my old guard, I bid you farewell. For twenty years I have constantly accompanied you on the road to honor and glory. In these latter times, as in the days of our posterity, you have invariably been models of courage and fidelity. With men such as you, our cause could not be lost, but the war would have been intermittable. It would have been civil war, and that would have entailed deeper misfortunes on France. I have sacrificed all of my interests to those of the country. I go, but you, my friends, will continue to serve France. Her happiness was my only thought. It will still be the object of my wishes. Do not regret my fate. If I have consented to survive, it is to serve your glory. I intend to write the history of the great achievements we have performed together. Adieu, my friends. Would I press you all to my heart.